All right, uh, we're going to move on to logical fallacy number 12, circular reasoning. Uh, this one's pretty difficult. Circular reasoning works because circular reasoning works because circular reasoning works. Uh, the concept is that you really never get around to explaining yourself because your reasoning is the same as your assertion. You should believe this because it should be believed. Um, the most, I guess the simplest example of this might be somebody who you think is attractive. You say, well, I think that person's really hot. Somebody says, well, why? Say, well, I think they're hot because they're just so attractive. Why do you think they're attractive? Well, I think they're attractive just because they're, I don't know, they're just so good looking, right? You're basically saying the same thing. Like you're Good looking is the same thing as attractive, is the same thing as hot. I mean, like all of those things go in a circle. You're, even though it's not the exact same words, you're basically saying, well, he's attractive because he's attractive. Or, she's cute because, well, she's cute. So there are uh, a number of ways to do that. Um, but basically, you're using your claim as the reasoning to believe it. And you never get anywhere. It's circular. Why is Billary a liar? I'll tell you why. It's because she's dishonest. Well, being a liar and being dishonest are the exact same thing. You haven't proven anything. Uh, you're going to need to to back that up with some reasoning or some evidence. Uh, there are lots of things you could do there, but to just rephrase "liar" uh, or use a different use a synonym for "liar" um, doesn't work. All right, lying and being dishonest are the same thing. You used your premise to prove your premise. Why is Trump a sexist pig? Well, I'll tell you why. Because he degrades women. But that's what a sexist pig is, right? Somebody who's sexist is somebody who degrades women. You're not saying anything new there. So these are actually the easy versions where you just are using basically a synonym and, uh, and asserting that you are right because of the assertion. Um, the reason this one's difficult is for examples like this one, though. Let's take a look at this one for a second. Why is this circular? Well, legalizing marijuana would lower the crime rate, but so would legalizing murder. In fact, legalizing anything would lower the crime rate because that's what the crime rate is. If you make something legal, it's no longer a crime. Even though legalizing and crime are not synonyms, they're so closely related that this is circular. If you're saying that you're legalizing marijuana would lower the crime rate, that, well, that's because these are inseparable. The rate of crime and legalizing something is uh, is inseparable. Those are those are uh, uh, inextricably connected. Your reasoning is attached to the meaning of your point. Legalization is making something not a crime. Right? All right, we'll do a religious example. And I'll reiterate, um, there are arguments for God. Um, for example, the ontological argument. Um, and you can debate those. Um, but I want to point out arguments that I feel are bad. Um, and this is a this is a bad argument. It's illogical. Um, and if you're religious, then this is good for you because you can use uh, logic that's that's better uh, to prove your point and not get stuck uh, using logic like this. I've heard this a lot. God exists because the Bible says he exists. The Bible is the word of God. Um, you ask somebody why they believe in God, and they say, well, because the Bible says. Um, and this is a problem. This is a logical problem. 
because this is circular. Of course, the God book says that God exists. You could replace God with um, anything, uh, invisible man, and then replace the Bible with invisible man book, right? The invisible man exists because the book about the invisible man says that the invisible man exists. And so it must be true because the book of invisible men is the word of the invisible man. You're basically not saying anything, right? Of course the book of God says God exists. The book of anything is going to say that anything exists. The book of leprechauns says leprechauns exist. The book of unicorns says unicorns exist. And whether or not you think it was written by those unicorns or by leprechauns or by invisible man or by God, none of those things are logically valid. Um, choose a better argument and you'll be more likely to persuade people because this one won't persuade a non-believer because they don't put any faith in the Bible. Okay. So uh, this is circular. You're proving God exists because the book of God says God exists. And that's circular. Okay. All right. Uh, we are going to move to the last one, which is equivocation.